The government shutdown now in its sixth day, likely extending into the new year. The Senate meeting for just minutes today. President Trump returning from his surprise trip to Iraq, immediately jumping back into the battle over the border wall. The president and Democrats unwilling to budge, the standoff taking its toll on hundreds of thousands of federal workers, wondering when their next paycheck will come. ABC senior congressional correspondent Mary Bruce is back on the Hill. Tonight, Capitol Hill is a ghost town. Day six of the government shutdown and with no end in sight, 800,000 federal workers are now in limbo. Who wants to go to work and not know if they're going to get paid or not? With two kids in college, Department of Justice employee Tanya Villa says the uncertainty hits hard. Tuition starts back up at the end of January for two children. Anthony Bolden works at the USDA and is worried too. For me, it's just total uncertainty in terms of knowing how to budget for the upcoming months. With negotiations at a standstill, both sides are digging in. How long do you think the shutdown will last, Mr. President? Uh, whatever it takes. I mean, we're going to have a wall. Back from Iraq, the president is back to battling with Democrats. Today, tweeting, have the Democrats finally realized that we desperately need border security and a wall on the southern border? Adding, without evidence, do the Dems realize that most of the people not getting paid are Democrats? The president is insisting on billions to fund his border wall, blaming the shutdown on, quote, Democrat obstruction. They all know you need the wall or whatever you want to call it, but the one who's calling the shots is Nancy Pelosi. The Democratic leader tells USA Today the president is using scare tactics to build support for his wall, and she's mocking him, saying now he's down to, I think, a beaded curtain or something. Pelosi is standing firm, promising to fund the government, but not the wall, when Democrats take control of the House next week. So no end in sight, at least for right now. Mary Bruce joins us live from Capitol Hill. And Mary, it's looking like we won't see any progress towards a deal until at least next year. Yeah, Tom, it is all quiet here on the Hill right now, and there are no more votes scheduled for this week. Now, once Democrats take control of the House, they're going to act quickly to try and put the pressure on the president by passing that legislation to fund the government, but not his wall. But, Tom, right now, this is a true stalemate, and neither side is budging. Tom? Mary Bruce on day six of the shutdown. Mary, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.